Hello everyone, my name is uh, Carl Martel. Today I will be showing you how to make a battery with hemp. So I'm just going to this down here. Let's see my work surface area. All right, so we're going to start with, so this is hemp herd that has been carbonized. Next, we need to grind up that herd into a fine powder and then sift it. So what I'm going to be starting with today, showing you, these are uh, zinc plates. So this is just zinc foil. You can buy this in any uh, home hardware type of garden center. It's used in gardening. Um, these are graphite plates. And this is going to be my separator. And this is just a paper towel or toilet paper. Um, this here will be my hemp carbon. And I will be using today as an electrolyte, and we'll be using potassium hydroxide in one molar solution. So let's start by doing this. So in my first cell here, as you can see, I'm going to be making two of them. And this is to demonstrate um, the importance of the hemp carbon and what happens when you add it to the battery cell. And why it's actually doing that, it's because of the surface area. During my presentation, I spoke of surface area, and this is where inside the battery it's important, but also on the outside of the battery. So just moisten up these papers with my electrolyte. Okay. And then on one of them, I'm not putting any uh, carbon on it. And in here I have 0 0.1 of a gram. And I'm gonna put this. Here, this is just a quick and easy, simple way of making it. You know, I'm just putting these down, Not really I'll just kind of smooth it out in production. You know, this would be done a little bit differently. Okay. A little bit more of this. Now this one here will take a little bit longer to try to kind of activate and get things going. It's going to take a little bit of time for the electrolyte to soak into the carbon. So I'm going to put this down. Like that. Push it down, hold it. And this one here. Put this one down onto here. I'm just going to go off the side. Put that down to hold it in place. Now I have two fans here, as you see, a small one, but I didn't think it was going to show very well. So I want the larger one. And it's a larger kind of a motor on it, so it'll consume the battery a little bit faster. Now what I'm going to do is hook, connect my negative and my positive, and I should have. My contact here just right. Contact just doesn't seem to adjust this a little bit. Sure that there's no shorts, and I have good contact. There we go. And you can see that it's turning this motor, but it's having a hard time. And that was the one without the carbon. So now we'll take a look at the one with the carbon. Again, I will put this into here. Usually, without the carbon, I'd usually get about 10 seconds of power going to it. With the carbon, you see here. It gives you a good idea, and this will run for 30 plus seconds. 
easily. You can see what the addition of hemp carbon does to the cell improves that performance versus one without any carbon added to it. Let me just turn this off. Now let's see if I can get, get this one working a little better than I did last time. Sometimes it's just a question of having the connection just right. There we go. Not much. You can see that it dies out. You should get a 10 seconds out of it, but this time, nothing there. Well, and there you have it. There's a, a simple hemp carbon battery. It's a zinc carbon battery is what it would be recognized as. And that's because of the zinc and the graphite and the addition of the hemp carbon. Thank you very much.